Okay, so uh, this poem is um, it's called What It Feels Like When I'm Dancing. Uh, and I wrote it a couple years ago. I've performed it a few times um, in Vancouver. First time here. Yeah. <laughs> Weather. I'm locked into another hand wrapped around his shoulder and our elbows glued. My right hand pressed into his, holding my form, yet remembering to be soft, be soft, be soft. And I'm whipping my hips as he moves me back and forth or left to right in the cumbia. And then he spins me and spins me and spins me until that moment when I completely let go, when I lose all control, and I hope that he can catch me, God, I, God, I hope that he can catch me, and he does. I drop into his arms, my back curving, and unwind my arm downwards over my head, my wrist twisting my hand like the wind as a leaf falling in autumn. Or, I'm out on that. Every other Wednesday, my elbow locked to Leo's, and I have so little education, but I trust him. Trust him. And I trust myself. Myself. So I follow him when he guides me in that eight step and twists me around and around. Meanwhile, my feet are flipping, my, my boots are flipping my feet up and down. I can hardly stay on the ground. I'm jumping, I'm jiving, and getting carried away by that dapper young guy's voice. The one that plays the clarinet when he's not singing. And as Leo stops me by his hip and throws his feet out in those, oh, what are they called? Flat footed tap steps. You know what I'm talking about. Well, I do it too when we make music under the music with our boots and then I'm spinning again and I'm floating and the sweaty joy of the night leaves my shirt soaked and my face aglow. Or, I'm there at the hall once every four months when the orchestra is playing and I'm hop hop hopping, I'm turning the colo into some Celtic dance. My arms are out, up above my head, index finger and thumb held together like I'm playing some kind of Balkan maracas. And then, they play bubamara. When that Romani singer drops down to the ground, quiet. See, the, crowd, the band's already out in the crowd by now. I find myself somewhere between the accordion and the trumpet. And she puts on that ladybug hat. While well, I drop down too, shim, 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 shimming my hips to the sound in the silence. And then I hear her. Jinjirinji buba maro tsiknie shuzie. I demore kuromesa. And I throw my body up to the rafters and jump, break, and catch myself. I toss my head back and looking there, I think every time, every time, this is pure joy. Whether I'm swinging, smile plastered on my face, or busting out any and all of the flamenco I can remember, hair from my black wig slipping by my clapping hands, and heart concentrated on the pain pouring out of the rum pa ta pa rum 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 pa ta pa rum 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 pa ta pa rum rum of my feet against the granite floor, I am so incredibly whole. Mm. Thank you. Last week was kind of light and happy, and this week is uh, a poem that I wrote three days before a breakup, um, and stuffed in a pile of paper somewhere and forgot about until a couple weeks ago. So if you don't like profanity, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just prepare your ears. We fucking like profanity. You fucking like it, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, uh, this poem is called You. You are a fucking puddle. I saw myself in your reflection, and then I fell in and drowned. You see, no one ever taught me to swim in something so shallow. And you are a fucking rhinoceros. One of those white ones that only come out for queens and goddesses. I'm sitting there admiring you, and then you ran me through the fucking heart. And you are a fucking miniskirt. My mother tells me you make my legs look long, but you make my morals look questionable. And you are the fucking ocean. You remind me of everything I am. You nurse me back to health and laying my hands on your skin, I remember where I belong. But you, you are a fucking credit card. One of the bad interest rate that I usually keep in a drawer somewhere because you're too, you're too risky to keep it in my pocket, but every once in a while, I pull you out and just ignore the realities. And you, you are a fucking cowboy, because you ride me like no one else can. 
and you are a fucking sunset. You make me cry and smile at the same time. And laying my hands on your skin, I remember where I belong. And you are a fucking god. I get on my knees and pray to you. Pray that you'll fit in my throat and that you'll always stay with me because you are a fucking mountain. One with steep cliffs and jagged edges I cut my hands on as I try to hold you. One with slippery slopes I bash my face on as I try to move towards you. One with crevasses that threaten to devour me if I make one wrong move. You're just too damn much a job, too damn big a job for any one woman. You are a treacherous fucking client. Thank you. Yeah.